hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, welcome back to our channel yes because this channel is for all of us so guys my natural look today i know this is my real face but will be cool guys on this video i'm going to show you i'm going to cook with you i'm going to give you the tips all in one how you can cook your local stew is it local when i say local stew guys it's, it's not that the stew is is local no the stew has a lot of nutrients it's a, lo a lot of vitamin but when you talk about local i'm from west africa we have some local taste in some of our delicacy it doesn't mean that the food is the food itself is local but is the preparation because of the ingredients we are using to cook it that's why we just call it local but actually is a very rich food okay guys i'm going to show you how you can cook your macro fish local way to cook your macro fish local again no rich way to cook <laughs> okay guys let me be serious so i'm going to show you the tips i use to cook my stew my macro fish with uh with smoke uh, macro and fresh macro fish so as like i said earlier on when i say local it doesn't mean that the food is local it's just the the taste we will get the um, these are the things that makes it make we call it local this is um uh black fish in my language we call it amb warrior edo but I, what is the name in english i don't know please tell me down 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 the comment section so i mix it with some boga fish some um well what again with only uh fresh tomatoes and onions and also with some red oil red oil give your your uh, the taste of your food it give it um cool taste yeah that's why we call it local like some people when they are cooking some uh with red oil rice we only call it accident rice or local rice the food is not local it's the preparation that is local so guys I, if you want to see how i cook this food just stay tuned and make sure you watch to the end and see the beautiful tips i used to prepare this food i'm going to have a taste of it don't worry guys at the end of this video you are going to see your favorite also having some taste of the food so don't think that Aria will be left out. No, she always tastes the food. But me, I want to taste this one today. Guys, that local taste. If you watch this video, just try and prepare this food just the way I prepared it. You're going to love it and you are going to thank me later. Guys, oh my God, this is so, so yummy. It's very, very yummy. Mmm, mmm. Guys, I think I'm going to do a mubonk. Mubonk. Is it mubonk? Let me don't go and speak English. I don't know. But I think I'm going to do a video. When I'm eating, I'll be chatting with my, my loving friends and family. Okay, so guys, stay tuned and see how I prepare this lovely delicacy. Of course, you know that I always love you. <laughs> guys these are the ingredients we are using to cook our local stew fish macro fish local stew this is the macro we are going to use we are using the smoke and the fresh macro fish and we are seeing going to use on the dry bonga fish and also black fish aka ebe warrior so guys these are the tomatoes i'm going to use massive big fresh tomatoes and big onions i have my chili pepper here and my cube and also i'm going to mix it with little bit of red oil and vegetable oil and also with salt of course to taste and little bit of curry powder let's get started guys so guys i eaten my pot for about uh, three minutes so I'm going to have my vegetable, my red oil to it. It's not that much, just a little bit, just to give it that local taste. After about two minutes, so I'll have some vegetable oil to it. You know, the palm oil is just giving you the taste that we wanted, the local taste. 
so guys after my oil is well bleached so now i'm going to add my diced onions into it stir together and i'm going to leave this for about uh, four to five minutes then i will add my tomatoes to it so guys after about four five minutes i dice my tomatoes and my chili pepper i'm having it to eat so this we have to patient for it to fry very well remember it's a fresh tomatoes and lots of water going to come out of it and i didn't boil it so we are going to fry this for about 10 minutes on the meat i'm frying i want to add my black uh, uh, fish and my uh, bonga fish because i want the taste to to dissolve inside very more i wouldn't want i don't mind if it, if it gets uh, broken but let them just fry together so that we'll get that local taste that i am looking for so guys at the moment let me just add my dry fish and my fresh fish to eat um, so that everything will cook very well so i'm adding my my fish to eat I'm going to stand and I'm going to add my Maggi cube. Oh, it's quite strong. Then I'll just stir little bits. I will just add some salt to taste and little bits of curry powder. So I'm going to stir this and cover it for like 10 to 12 minutes for the fish to cook, for everything to fry very good guys trust me it's going to be so sweet because everything is so local <laughs> it's going to give me the local taste that i want so i'm going to cover guys i'm going to add crayfish to it it's optional if you don't like crayfish you don't need to add it because i love my i love crayfish a lot and i want to have that local taste <laughs> guys you see what i was telling you that it's going to bring a lot of water because it's fresh tomato so what you have to do at this moment you have to be patient for the water to dissolve you have to give it additional time to cook so all this water are going to dissolve when you patient because the, the fresh tomatoes bring a lot of water so we're going to cook it oh the smoke sorry about that, that guys we're going to cook it in we don't see much water anymore although it's also nice when it's juicy but when it's too much i don't like it so guys yes i think it's okay like this our uh, local stew is ready it will see it's going to i don't even know what to say because i know it's going to be yummy guys it's going to be very very yummy you know it's a local delicacy the way to cook you with um, very fast way to cook your local stew with fresh tomatoes and fresh onions. You guys know how we normally do it now. Your favorite baby, which is my favorite client, Aria for Ann, is going to test it for us if it's yummy or not. Of course, you know it's going to be yummy. Let me go and pick her up and we'll come and test. Thank you. Stay tuned. Yeah, da. I eat your food. So, guys, it's time for your favorite to eat our food. I boil some carrots, broccoli, and fish. It's good for your child to eat um vegetable every day. I really yeah. love eating uh, vegetable a lot. Um, is it like Mmm. Um, is it lekker? So this, as you all may know, this is how we eat our food. She always feed herself. And uh, me, I've done eating mine today. I ate mine earlier on. You guys saw it from the beginning. So it's time now for Ariel. Um, good girl. Good girl. She always feed herself. Um. Mm. Um, and Aria got this beautiful table and a, a share for our godfather. Thank you, Uncle Alex. Say thank you. Say thank you, Papa. Yes. Thank you. Yes, now she has a table and a stool, so she's very comfortable eating her 
food as always as usual um good girl before you put it on your mat everything fed down but it's okay she's going to eat it she's going to take her time and she will eat everything she'll eat the vegetable i just put little rice and um, vegetable carrot and broccoli and some of her fish as you can see she ate the fish before even it's um before she will even eat the rice so thank you guys for watching if today your first time coming across our video do not forget to subscribe on the notification button and also comment see you on our next video bye 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 bye, bye.